वेलकम टू सत्यजित बराज ई पाठशाला वनस अगेन आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर फिट एंड हेल्दी स्टेइंग एट होम टुडे दिस इज आवर थर्ड वीडियो लेक्चर व्हिच इज आल्सो अ कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो व्हिच एक्सप्लेन्स द थर्ड एंड द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ आवर चैप्टर नंबर 1 ऑफ आवर बुक लिविंग साइंस फॉर क्लास 4 नाउ without wasting much more time we i want i want to start with the remaining portion where we have left in our previous lecture so we have left in our previous uh, up to here up to here we have done all these questions we have orally discussed in our previous chapter now now we are going to start from preparing our food what preparing our food see the food items or the food grains which we normally get from our plants or animals are actually raw food what raw food r a w raw these raw foods we cannot eat all of all of these raw foods we cannot eat directly we should not eat directly without preparing or cooking them say suppose i am talking about the food grain called rice or wheat wheat or rice we cannot or we should not eat directly extracting after harvesting from our paddy fields right so before <coughs> eating before edible what is called edible edible means a very important point edible you write down on your complex numbers see oh, uh, i have given you uh, in the very first uh, what i say mm, yes in the very first video i have uh, told you that if you find any difficult words i will mention its meaning in this video itself and i am going to give this uh, give its meaning the word is you write down edible e d i b l e this word this word you write down on your left side that means word side and in the meaning side you will write what e a t eat able means eatable matlab khane layak so that means the raw the raw food grains that we collect from our harvesting fields uh, paddy fields are not exactly uh, edible that means eatable so first we have to wash them out properly after that what we need to do we need to cook them and that cooking of food is ni uh, nothing but called as preparing our food now come to this point <coughs> sorry we eat raw yes see here also raw we eat raw as well as cooked food yes we eat raw as well as cooked food how we eat raw foods which foods we eat raw suppose fruits fruits we eat by as it is uh, picked up from our trees Gosorpra singer loge loge jenuka thake teneko ami khai dio freshly right only fruits normally we take like that but most of the food grains we normally what cook in different <coughs> style of cooking there are different style of cooking there are different ways of cooking so we will learn about those things in later classes now uh, here also you will get some of them now fruits and certain vegetables are eaten raw yes certain vegetables are also eaten raw some of the vegetables like beet cucumber we can eat it what raw means gosapa singiyani jenuka thakibo as it is we can eat them without cooking it or we can eat after cooking also but we can at least we can eat them at its raw state rw raw state now now we will talk about those food items those we normally don't eat raw see we should wash them properly before 
eating so as to free them from dust and germs this is a very important point and most importantly i have uh, told about this particular point in our at the very beginning of this video see we should always wash our food items properly before eating them why because those food items or food pa food particles may contaminated with dust and germs now one important new word that is what contaminated see i will write it see here okay look at here c o n t a conta m i n a t e d contaminated what do you mean by contaminated d okay it, this is d okay e d contaminated iska meaning likhna to me is side me right side me is iska meaning likhna kya what is it get mixed with mixed with matlab kya hai matlab it means that those food items about which we are discussing here may contaminated or mixed with some germs or dust particles which are actually very much dangerous and un uh, unhygienic things for our body or for our health isn't that so we have to remove those by washing them properly other uh, there is no other option for us without washing we cannot remove those things now other types of food are cooked before eating yes other types of food are cooked before eating yes see some i have already told them some types of foods that are some vegetables and some of them are fruits which we normally need not to cook we can eat it directly without cooking now some foods such as rice and potatoes are boiled yes some foods such as rice and potatoes are normally we what boiled idlis are steamed idlis we cannot boil so idlis idlis are only what steamed now i am going to what is steamed what is boiled i am going to tell that these are nothing but different styles style of cooking that means different various types of cooking these are now one more important puris are fried what puris are fried this is very delicious no puri we we eat normally we eat puris we like puris but how they cook what is the pattern of cooking puris it is fried that means we fry puris now potatoes brinjals and meat are sometimes roast roasted me roasted means what puri dia puri dia puri dia bol jaga pura kha aji bengana pura kham de aji alu puri kham de aji mangho puri kham de in this type of word that means puri kha something pura mas pura uh, bengana pura these are related to roasted do you understand i hope yes now these normally these three items we used to roast and for eating now cooking makes food soft tasty and easily digestible see what what is the purpose of cooking what may be the purpose of cooking this may be an a uh, question in future you may face similar type of questions see i will give you some inside questions in your examination so you prepare it for exam from right now from today onwards you start preparing for your exam point of view you you discuss your questions from exam point of view inside questions will be definitely come in your examination and those you have to prepare by yourself some of them i will give but most of them you have to prepare because because of that only i have discussed this lesson so elaborately in 
three long videos such that i can give you most of the idea um, almost every each and every idea and concept regarding this chapter such that you can understand the whole chapter and you can face any type of insight questions from this particular chapter so here cooking what is the purpose of cooking we cook to make our food softer softier soft next tasty and easily digestible now why easily digestible because they become soft when they become soft it will be very easy for our digestive system to break them inside our body such that our uh, digesti digesting time gets reduced see zodi ami if we eat raw rice raw rice is very hard you as you all know if we eat that our digestive system i am not saying that our digestive system is not um, able to digest rice yes our digestive system is also capable of digesting rice because we normally eat pythagoras right have you i hope all of you have eaten that pythagoras pythagoras is also what raw rice powder it is that we eat but it is pythagoras are also what our body can digest that means rice is also digestible but it will take large amount of time to digest and our digestive system will face a huge problem and it will mane koshto pabe right digestive system ta koshto nidibor karane kom koshto dibor karane to lower its uh, work we normally do what we normally cook our food to make them soft soft also it increases the taste of our food items and it becomes easily digestible i hope you got the point now it also kills the germs in the food very one of the most important thing is what some germs which are not being able to remove by simply washing them those germs those germs which normally don't removed while washing them are killed can be killed by cooking those foods right so it is germ free also it becomes uh, through cooking it becomes our food becomes germ free now come to the below point things to remember while cooking yes some of the important points or important notes that we need to keep in our mind while cooking right number point number 1 what do not throw away the water in which pulses are soaked it contains vitamins use it for cooking see normally most of our peop uh, our normal peop person i mean means um, our common man normally used to do what they will soak suppose pulses like uh, gram that means boot boot mogu ebla ki kore they used to soak ta mane ki tiai die pani tiai thoy tar pichot then what they will happen in the morning in the night time they will soak it in the morning they will do what they will wash it out and drain all the water that was used for soaking those food items that means pulses it will reduce the value vitamin value of those food items see whenever roasting there are some important phenomenons occurring during soaking of our food grains you will get about these processes in higher classes but right now i want you to uh, know at least some important words which you will get in later classes and also it becomes some helpfulness helpful it will become some helpfulness for 
understanding this particular process is called soaking so so khuni lwa while soaking that means kibata bostu tiai thote tiai thote ki hoy tat eta process eta scientific process tat lage there there is always a scientific process is been taking place during soaking and the name of that process is called what that is called osmosis during that process what happens you know some of the minerals gets out of the get out of our what food grains to the water where you have soaked those food items like pulses and all understood jetia tumar hey vitamin contents kisuman panit gusi jai jodi tumi morning in the morning if you drain them out tamne ki jodi tumaloke hetu pelai dia pani tu dhubor karane hok ba kibar karane hok jodi pelai dia what will happen it will reduce your vitamin level in your that is present that should be present in your food i hope you got that na so to avoid that what you need to do was the food grains before soaking them that means tumi agote dhui lo bhalke properly after that you will do what you will soak with some fresh water fresh water means uh, germ free fresh water where no germs is available if you soak there and remember one thing you will use that amount of water that has not been soaked completely by the food grains ta mane jikhini pani soak no hole mane jikhini pani huhibo noile amar food grains bur already phuli gol you will use that remaining portion of water while cooking those pulses in our further process i hope you got it mane pani khini khe pani khini tumi luksan no korba tumar dhubole asile tumi agote dhuilo i hope you got it right now this was this this point was very important next point number 2 <clears throat> what is there do not do not wash vegetables and fruits after cutting them it is a very important point um, most of our per, uh, common man used to do these mistakes but you do not do those mistakes because see after peeling or cutting the vegetables or fruits what happens D some nutrients get outside gets exposed to the environment if you wash those cut cut food mane kati diar pichot jekhini food ase he food kini jodi tumi dhui dia then what will happen the exposed or uh, the nutrients that came out of our fruit or vegetable will washed out tamane pani dhui gusi jabo so what will happen it will reduce your nutritional level or nutritional value of your food so don't do it next while cooking while cooking take just enough water so that the water which has absorbed the nutrients is not thrown away beji palana kotha tu ako me pohi disu while boiling take just enough water yes while boiling take just enough water so that the water which has absorbed the nutrients is not thrown away asalta kotha tu ki see while you boil something some food items you take some additional amount of water there yes those waters are necessary for boiling that food particles but here you have to remember one point that you take a measured amount or calculated amount of water not an extra amount of water suppose you are going to uh, cook only uh, one cup of rice and you are adding 
three buckets of water three buckets of water imagine it and you are cooking that is not useful for you because it will what happen say after boiling <coughs> that one cup of food uh, rice it doesn't need three buckets of water that means some water will take by those rice that means absorbed by those rice and other will you you drained off tamane baki gini tumale ki koiba pelai diba mane mar hisabe pelai diba koino ghor bhator mar bole that is pelai diba and that that then then doing that thing is also a very bad habit because it will reduce your nutritional value of those particular rice understood hetu karna we normally do what we should eat our rice uh, we should uh, cook our rice normally in a pressure cooker where uh, required amount of uh, or calculated amount of water we add there and all the water will be absorbed by our rice grains okay now jodi pani besike lua tetia aru eta sub mane ki bili komitia yeah <coughs> side effect to ase side effect means what's not exactly durable side effect it is somehow so jodi tumi besi suppose moi agor example e ghori ahu if we take one cup of rice grains to boil uh, to boil it if i use three buckets of water what will happen we need more amount of fuel to boil them also have we uh, can we imagine about that amak beshi fuel lagibo beshi lagibo we need more lpg or we need more wood to boil those things that means we are subsequently wasting our fuels also right that means to reduce eta bostur pura kiman khini bostu hobo pare so kiman loss hobo pare see we are wasting our fresh water also by doing it yes amak lagisile matro all of pani we are wasting most of them after draining off the cooked or boiled water you this water is no not on not even further utilizable mane utilize koribo para na jabo that means water waste koila unnecessary plus fuel you have wasted and also the most importantly you have wasted your nutritional value through this so remember about this point very important point next come to this point do not overcook too much roasting and frying destroys the nutri nutrients yes exactly same jukhot ke beshi cook koribo na lage you should cook only that limit where it just get cook it does it should not get over cook jane ke over eat koribo na lage ami matro khabo ki mane lage we should eat as our stomach or our body needs similarly we should cook our food items up to that level which it actually need to be cooked or become soft tastier and easily digestible if you overcook what will happen it will destroy your nutritional uh, the food the nutritional values of your food next preserving food it is also a very very important thing see from our paddy fields we harvest our crop field or paddy field you may consider both you can consider if we harvest them at one normally we harvest them at one single time means amahman homoy bhitorte ami gotekhane harvest kori pelao right so but we cannot use it in that particular uh, period of time we have to use those food grains harvest harvested food grains for our whole year that means ami he ek bosor leke he bostu kin use koribo lagbo that means we simply need some type of preservation techniques such that we can preserve our those harvested food grains 
for a longer period of time with a very good amount of nutritional value within that particular grains tar mane ami food items bilak with its maximum extent alake yar food due to nutritional value thakibo lage tene koke ami ak preserve koribo paribo laibo right so that process is called preservation of food pisole paba yes now food is valuable all we know that if not preserved it may begin to spoil yes it is a very important point food gets spoiled if we don't preserve them why it is actually why this process is done is being done mane uh, why the process of spoiling is done because some microorganisms affect these uh, what i say food for spoiling them now the process of treating food in a way that preserves it its value for a long period is called preservation you just remember this point i have already discussed about this thing all values values i have talked uh, i have to, uh, talked about uh, values and for longer period of time i have already discussed so i hope you got it and you it is a very important um uh, it is a very important definition now cooked or uncooked food can we preserve in different ways they are asking yes of course we can uh, there are different techniques for uh, what i say yes preserve our food see for the uh, in our uh, home normally we preserve our cooked food by putting all those food items that means uh, the uh, the food items which we have not consumed inside a refrigerator we normally do that why we do that we actually wants to preserve our cooked food from spoiling <coughs> it by those microorganisms which can affect there so that means freezing is maybe one of the preserving techniques in some uh, packed items suppose uh, some achar think about achar achar i hope all of you are familiar with achar in achar you will be having some preservatives like some artificial preservatives some vinegars you will be having vinegar is also a preservative component preservative it is also used as preservative in our achar so there are lots of preservative uh, preservatives available in our market which are normally used as food preservatives okay i hope you got it boiling may be also one kind of uh, preservative techniques see why we boil our milk why to preserve it for longer period of time if we don't boil it will become what it will become curd it will convert it into curd that means from curd we cannot get milk that means milk is already converted into curd and we cannot get milk from those curd that means we have already spoiled our milk the nutrific value of milk we have converted into curd but if we boil those milk what will happen our milk would last for a longer period of time boiling sometimes if we see gharat nemu tanga thake na nemu tanga lemon gul nemu gul nemu amar ki kore nimokhot thoi diye that is why we do that because to preserve our gul nemus or round lemons to for longer period of time bosor bosor dhoi thoi diyo ami how we do that we use salt sodium chloride later on you will know about it sodium chloride or salt is used as a preservative for those gulnemus right similarly sometimes we use sugar as preservatives so there are lots of i mean to say more precisely i would like to say that there are lots of preservatives available in our nature as well as in our market for preserving our foods and this is your uh, the last 
portion this was your last portion for your uh, for this chapter i hope you got that now i want to conclude this chapter by showing you the important points what you need to focus more and more see in this first paragraph it is, nothing is so much important but you have to understood these things next here you need what is nutrient you have uh, you have to know about nutrients then what are the nutrients that found in our food it is uh, this chap this uh, what i say this paragraph is mostly important in this particular whole page now come here here also some names are assigned some additional names are assigned see bodybuilding uh, see bodybuild energy giving foods bodybuilding foods protective foods and then description of each and every nutrients that found in our food these are very important this chapter is you have to this uh, page you have to read more thoroughly and very well now come to this point here what are important here here also roughage and water both of them are sub nutri uh, what i say nutrients or in our food in our food about balance diet you have to this is also very important and most important uh, uh, paragraph that you have to read again and again next digest uh, digestion of food the process then first the definition of the digestion process you have to remember this next the process of digestion very important i have made some questions over there and i have made its answer also so you can you have to you uh, read this chapter uh, this uh, paragraph these paragraphs specifically more thoroughly to understand all the points I, though i have already mentioned and uh, given all the concepts regarding this particular uh, what i say paragraphs but focus from yourself is also needed to cope up with these concepts now this diagram is one of the most important diagrams that normally comes in our exam point of view so you have to practice it a lot such that you can accurately neatly and uh, with a proper labeling you can uh, do in your exam so this is very important diagram this is the most important this was the most important diagram and none of the other diagrams are so much important now these points are also very important mark this definition of large intestine no 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 need to uh, uh, understand no need to uh, know that definition just you need to know what happens in our digestive uh, large intestine you need to focus there this is also very important now preparing food these are these types are very important different types of what boiling roasting frying then what these are um, steamed these are steeping steaming these are important techniques of cooking you need it then these are also very important points these are also very important point you have to and this paragraph this definition is most important and i uh, i have already mentioned about some uh, preservative techniques those are also very 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 important points which anyways i will give in later uh, i mean say the when i will solve this i will give you the solution of this particular questions uh, then i will mention there i will mention about those particular techniques and in our next class we will give the pdf of this particular question and answers normally i will give you the answer and after giving that you have to do this enrichment activity from yourself this these things you have to done by yourself okay subject enrichment activity it is for you so i hope you got the most of the uh, i um, or most of the concept that i want you to give you you have already acquired them through this video 
and uh, we, uh, after that we will start with this uh, chapters later on now uh, thank you for watching me the watching my videos uh, and if you like the videos please uh, like but uh, press the like button just below this video and if it is possible if you want that it is important for you because there are lots of lot are uh, lots of different video I means lots of videos are available uh, regarding maths also there are lots of videos available in my channel if you want to access those then you have to or do what you have to simply subscribe my channel if you like these videos you can subscribe it i hope you will subscribe and you will support me for further uh, productive videos to be uploaded thank you very much thank you very much for watching my videos thank you